Given the vast amount of media coverage it received, it's a little bit surprising to remember that the fire that tore through the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris happened less than a week ago. It was Monday, in fact. Images from the scene spread rapidly through traditional and social media platforms, stunning Catholics and history buffs and art lovers, and the many millions of people, of course, who've made the trip to France to see the 12th century church for themselves. But a billion dollars has already been pledged to rebuild and restore a Notre Dame to its former glory, and that project will be watched with great interest by our guests this evening. Anne Shaftel lives in Halifax, but works uh, internationally at the highest levels of world heritage preservation. She's an adjunct scholar for Dalhousie University. Last year, she lectured for the British Museum. She worked as a conservation specialist in Sweden, lectured in New York, San Francisco, Hong Kong, and Shanghai, and we are absolutely delighted you could spend a few minutes with us tonight, Anne. Thanks for coming in. So what went through your mind when you first saw that fire blazing on the television screens back on Monday? As a person that works with World Heritage Sites all the time, mm. immediately I wondered, had they done a risk assessment? What was their disaster plan? Had they done documentation to facilitate reconstruction? What century will they reconstruct it to? And what methods and materials will they use? All very, very fascinating questions. You'd visited Notre Dame yourself. Many times. Many times in yeah. the past. Would this be about as bad as it gets uh, when you talk about damage to a building that's 850 years old? Or, or have you seen worse? I have seen worse. You have seen worse? Through political con conflicts, I've seen entire buildings blown up, World Heritage Sites. You're talking about I've war. I've seen war. I've seen churches burned to the ground and everything inside lost. Mm. Clearly some of the artifacts inside had uh, religious uh, significance, but given the age of the cathedral, we're really talking about much more than that. We're, we're talking about art and history and so much was housed there. We're talking about world heritage as mm. well as religious meaning. Mm. It's so important to people. And this brings us to the definition of what was important. Was it important that it was begun in 1100s? Was it important that it was filled with art and beautiful religious objects through the centuries? Or was it important that the spire, which was really built in 1850 and the Gothic Revival style, crashed down and that's when everybody gasped? Interesting. Yeah. And this all informs our questions about how it will be rebuilt, to which century? Right and what methods and materials will be used for re rebuilding because the World Heritage Organizations are in deep discussion about those questions. Interesting. We've learned uh, many of the, the priceless artifacts were saved, and you kind of alluded to this a moment ago, thanks to some careful planning and some very brave people, right? Tell us about that. They, they formed a chain, didn't they, to actually get some of this stuff out while the building was burning? I'm really glad that there was TV coverage of that mm -hmm. because the reason so many treasures were saved is due to a method of heritage preservation which everyone who's viewing can use for their church, their community center, their home, and that's risk assessment, assess the risks, documentation, document the treasures and the building, and then have a disaster plan know exactly who's going to do what when disaster strikes. But you tweeted out something this week, shortly after the fire, mm -hmm. noting it should always be people over property, right? Yes. As yeah. a matter of fact, the Parisian first responders were very well trained. Mm. They had all of those elements, and that's why they did such a good job. As a matter of fact, just last year they had a drill in Notre Dame, what to do in case a disaster strikes. It is true that Paris was expecting a flood instead of a fire, mm -hmm. but they had their plan and they followed it, and these were the elements of their plan. Lots of talk about uh, things like the, the stained glass windows, yeah. which they know survived the fire, but, but presumably there, you know, there might be some cracks up there, maybe some smoke and water damage. How do, how do they go about uh, you know, dealing with that? Because they're not sending a guy up there with, with a bottle of Windex, I'm guessing. It's true, but in the plan, it's very interesting, the stained glass windows were not number one. Really? The five elements of their plan, the human chain, First is humans first. Okay. Human life comes first. Right. To make sure it's safe for the first responders to go in. 
Well, that the windows don't come crashing down on them and that the priests are out, any tourists are out. Mm. The second is because of the plan, they know where to go and which treasures to salvage first. It's with military precision. So none of this was random. They knew where they were Everything going. Everything was planned. The second, so first human life, second treasures. Third, they went to the altars. Anything on the altars themselves that should be taken off. It's all planned. They knew what to do. Fourth is any furniture that could be carried out. And then fifth is the building as a whole. Right. Because the building can be rebuilt, but the treasures usually can be easily destroyed. As you understand it, what will be the approach now to reconstruction? You raise a mm. fascinating point about what, you know, in what time period, uh, you know, they would choose to do that. That's right. Mm. The original plans were from the 1100s, mm. and it was built through the centuries. And then in around 1850, there was the Gothic Revival. Now, Gothic Revival isn't bad. As a matter of fact, one of the most beautiful churches in Canada, the Notre Dame de Montreal, is Gothic Revival style. It's very famous for that. Right. The spire at Notre Dame in Paris was Gothic Revival style, not the original style of the 1100s cathedral. And that's when, when crashing down and the flames and everyone gasped. Mm. So, when it's rebuilt, will it be rebuilt 1100 plans, 1850? additions and will they include 2019 architecture style because that's part of the history as well very very good questions I want to thank you so much for joining us tonight Anne. oh you're welcome really appreciate it yeah. Anne Shaftel is a world heritage preservation expert and a Dalhousie University adjunct scholar joining us tonight to talk about the big job ahead in rebuilding and restoring the famed Notre Dame Cathedral which of course sustained extensive damage in that fire that broke out on Monday